LCAC, uh, not LCAC, a little bit of Leicester tonight. Tonight I have Jeremy Smith. He started Leicester Rocks. Now, this has been a big hit on social media. How are you tonight? Yeah. Good. Things going good. I'm real happy with uh, the Rocks and how it's going. The turnout in town. I've a lot of people behind me. Well, what exactly is it? I see all over Facebook people painting a rock. Yeah. What is this concept? Well, it entails painting, hiding, finding, and also using the social media to post. So when you paint one, you hide it, and you give a clue on Facebook so people know where to look. And then, of course, you painted the rock, the one who finds it, posts it back up because it's nice to see your rock that you painted you know what I mean yeah. especially for the kids they see their rock back on the computer which it's pretty neat well how did this originate and what's the purpose of it the purpose honestly I would say just to bring smiles just make it, it seems to do that it seems to make people sincerely happy and that's I like that you know it's, yeah. it's cool to me How'd you come up with the idea? Oh, well, I stole it, naturally. <laughs> yeah, I was living in Port St. Lucie this winter, and I was at Walmart and saw a boy pick up a rock and just smiling. So I looked into it, and it turns out they did the Port St. Lucie Rocks Club. And, geez, they had 17,000 members in theirs. So my, my cousin's wife had the paint and the rocks, and she got me into it. And it started there, and... I says, geez, I have to bring that home with me because it was such a good idea. And it just kind of started to snowball out here. Yeah, I posted it up, and geez, in a week we had over 500 members in just a week, and I mean, it's, it's only getting bigger. You know, I, just, I see you're on there all the time, your mom's on there all the time, and yeah. I see it just seems like thousands of people talking about, oh, I found the rock here, or I found the rock there, or... And when you find these rocks, you keep them, you collect them, or what are you supposed to do with them? Well, if you find a rock that makes you happy or something that you like, you're more than welcome to keep it. That's, it's actually encouraged. And as long as you keep it, you're supposed to pay it forward by painting another one and putting it out in its place, so to speak. So that way it, it keeps going. Keeps going. Now, I've noticed, like, uh, well, we got some behind us here. We, people uh, did the Beatles. I've seen that cat one posted on... Uh, <laughs> oh, sure. ...on for social media. But um, he's also had, like, Cooper's Farm. Just had a big painting or something up there, right? Cooper's. Unfortunately, I had a dental emergency and wasn't able to make it. But, yes, Heidi Cooper hosted a thing up there where they had people painting and experiencing a little bit. She actually has, an, um, the next month on the 3rd, Lester Rocks will have a booth up there. She has something going on, and she invited me up there again, which I appreciate. Yeah. And so we'll get them some more exposure and hopefully give some kids a chance to get involved. And when you say kids, now, are the schools buying into this, or the Cub Scouts, or the Girl Scouts? I've heard on the page that there's been a few kids in school painting them, not exactly sure what it entails yes. and how much they're doing it but once it's once they get the word yeah. you know and it's it kind it's it turns itself around wow. this program really people get into it and once that happens i it just seems to be getting yeah. bigger no i've noticed i mean you, you know i happened to find one walking my dog the other day down by morrison's sure. funeral home how do you go about putting these? you have to ask the owner's permission, or do you just set them up? How does this work? Typically, I, I haven't had to ask any permission because I haven't put them in. I try to keep it to mostly public areas it where it's not going to be in anybody's way. I'm yeah. not trespassing because we don't want that. Yeah, right. And also common areas, unless, of course, you want to get into the hiding aspect of it and give people a little more of a scavenger hunt on. type of where that way you can just put clues and because yeah. people do get into it now i've seen like you've had them posted up the b lodge you've had them posted down pleasant view spa uh you're at tote park you planted some sure uh i've seen the clues for behind hillcrests <laughs> but 
It just seems like they're popping up everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's taking off real good. I believe we have 960 some odd members as of today, which that's, geez, that's almost one in 10 in town of a town of 10,000 people. That's more than we get for election day, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> but uh, no, it's kind of interesting uh, that you brought this up. Uh, there was a game going around on uh, social media. It was it last year, the year before, where you had a bunch of people walking around staring at their cell phone, yeah. trying to find something. I forgot what it was called. Pokemon Go, I believe, is what you're referencing, maybe so. Yes. At first, I thought it was something like this, but it's really not. This yeah. is more kid orientated, but it's everybody's orientated. And, and they were looking for something that actually isn't there. <laughs> it's it's actually imaginary, which yeah. I like the fact the kids or who's who's they can physically pick something yeah. up and not you yeah. know not just imagine it because come on. Right. Now, I'm I'm sure you've seen some pretty interesting ones. I mean, we've just seen the cat. We've seen some beetles. There's but. been some cool stuff. There's. Um, People, there's some artists around that you can draw some really nice stuff. Me, what I like to do is I'll, I'll go online if I can't think of an idea. You can Google about anything you want. Yeah. And you can find anything, really. Yeah. If you have an idea in your head, I want to draw a cat. Well, Google cat paintings or something to that effect. Cats. Sure. And start from there. And that way you can give you an idea. You don't just have to jump into it without... No, you're right. No, I mean, I've seen uh, people with, some of them with the imagination, they pick up a stone, and I'm going to, a simple one would be a triangle of stone, and they make a pizza out of it. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's kind of different, or a bottle, or... Yeah, it's, it's neat, because people see things, obviously, like, how they see them. I yeah. found one, and I saw an arm and feet, and a, somebody yeah. found it. Uh, it's like this green critter, as I best I can describe yeah. it. And, yeah, it's neat what... What different people come up with that, that I always like to see that yeah. imaginations at work. It is. I mean, it's funny. I mean, I carved wood ducks for years. Oh with, yeah. And I won't say for years. About eight years, nine years. And my instructor used to say, you pick up a piece of wood and you look at it. You carve everything away that's not a duck. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I could never really get that concept. <laughs> I had to have drawings and prints. But, sure. But it is. It's. It's just amazing. Now, you've had some of these stores, I noticed, well, like Cooper's, they have, what, a free milk or something? Yes, Cooper's donates, I believe, it's a free pint of milk, if you find their rock. Um, Sherry Hurley from Pleasant View Diner yeah. has a few free cups of coffee. Carmen from Shares and Clippers yes. in the center. Yeah. Geez, I, I'm slacking because she is willing to donate a free haircut. I need to paint the rock. Yeah, I've been slacking a little in that department. Sorry, Carmen, but um, that is something I do plan on doing soon. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I like I like to see the small businesses in town get involved because we're getting bigger and geez, it's it's pretty good advertising and it's good it for is. everybody. It is good advertising. The way I see it. Yeah, and it's actually bringing a lot of joy to a lot of people. I first time I see it, I said, "What the <laughs> hell's all this?" Yeah, really. <laughs> and then I kept kind of just kept watching it and stuff and I'm saying it's really catching on and I really like seeing somebody take an initiative it's not political it's not this it's not it's pure fun yeah that's actually the one request I have is on our page no complaining please no no politics yeah. smiles if, if it doesn't make you smile don't bother because that's what it's for you know we, we have no agenda yeah. except happiness. You know, I don't support or deny yeah, anything. I just want to keep it keep yeah. it good, you know? Keep it simple. What can we expect? Anything further coming out of this in the near future? Mm, or? Well, on the third, I believe I mentioned on the third yeah. of next month, Heidi Cooper, we're going to have another booth up there. Yeah. Um, besides that, no, we're playing it by ear. Actually... Wister Rocks, a girl on the page, she's she's in the process of doing. Yeah. And this Sunday at Elm Park, I'm going to be going down donating some paint. And she was going to be looking for a couple of volunteers to maybe go down and work with. It's a homeless base, so yeah. we'll be doing that this Sunday. I'm going to post it on the page. Hopefully I can get a couple people that would maybe want to go down yeah. with me to just to volunteer some time yeah. and, you know. Try to bring a smile. 
Yeah. Now, part of the thing is with Lester rocks, you have to hide your rocks in Lester. Or not necessarily. You don't have to. We're not limited to that, that you know. Um, a friend actually brought one to Martha's Vineyard so far. Mm -hmm. Another guy was going to bring one to Brazil. And on the page, we had a guy from Leicester, England. Oh, really? Hit me up, and I said, hey, would, would you mind? Why don't you paint a rock and post it over there? Yeah. He never got back to me, but I'm, I'm hoping that happens because that would be the furthest one so far in yeah. Leicester, England. Well, that'd be interesting, though. I mean, it'd be nice if, I mean, I don't know how it works, but if you're doing a rock and you're going to bring it, I'm going to say to Florida yeah. or Texas. Now, you put Lester Mass and, you know, some type of thing, please post social media. Yeah. Something like that. Just so we can say, oh, wow, it showed up over here. It showed up over there. It's actually it's really neat. Really neat. On the Port St. Lucie page where I got the idea, I actually saw that happen. One in, all the way in Vegas, and there was another one, I believe it was in uh, Rome. What? So, yeah, so it, it gets around. Once it starts, it, it really starts. Nice. It is. I mean, it's, it's, I'm interested. Like, every once in a while, you'll see somebody's balloon will show up somewhere when they release oh, all the sure. balloons yeah. or something like that. Or you do find a bottle that, I mean, even as kids, you'd go to the ocean, you'd throw a thing in. <laughs> well, maybe it ain't going across the world, but 10 years later, that bottle shows up 20 miles down shore. <laughs> you know, it, it's interesting. It is pretty neat. You know, I mean, it definitely is. It's the whole idea of it. Yeah, I like the idea, like you said, though, you know, out of town, put one far away, and, and hopefully, as long as you write, you know, post on social media, and yeah. hopefully you'll have enough gumption to do, do it. it. Yeah. Hopefully. That's what we're trying That's to do, cool. just get the word out. Well, no. No, you know I mean? I mean, I guess there's only so much we can talk about <laughs> on this subject, but I'm really glad to have had you on and get it out there. Now, before we close, just the basic rules. I know you said you had some basic rules as far as what you do. You paint a rock, you hide a rock. Just let's do the rules over this. I noticed today some lady wanted to know what Lester Rocks was all about and how you got into it. Okay, sure. I, I mentioned to you earlier, I wish the description on the Facebook page, it is there if you click on the info icon, but it's not displayed until you do that. Yeah. Um, that's something I need to work on. Yeah. But basically, just a feel-good group, we paint rocks and hide them. When you hide them, you post it on the page so people know where to look naturally, yep. okay? And when found, you post it again so the person that, that painted the rock and put the work into it gets to see that it was found. Wow. It makes it a lot more enjoyable, you know, when yeah. you see your own work or child or, or anybody for that matter. Yeah sees that it paid off and made somebody smile yeah. you know besides that you know we just the only rules i mean we keep profanity off the rock yeah you know, obviously not like that because it's right. kid, kid based from a big part of it so just no cussing and keep it mm. keep it good and clean and, and mm. enjoy it i was just having a brain thing the other day I'm, i was reading this Lester Rocks and seeing some pictures. I says, I can see it in 20, 25 years. Somebody's walking along somewhere and they're going to pick up a painted <laughs> rock and have no clue what they're looking at. It could happen. <laughs> it could happen. But it seems the bigger we get, the bigger we get. Yeah. It's yeah. a snowball effect. It's when people are getting involved and it's paying off. No, I think it was a good thing. I think it's a fun thing for what's going on. And it's interesting, like, I have seen people coming into, like, the restaurant, Vila's, and they're all looking in the sure. flower boxes, and they look at this as they're walking. Or, sure. And, I just, and somebody said, actually, it was my brother. He's down from New York. Yeah. And he's watching this family, and they're looking and looking. <laughs> and he said, what the hell are they looking for? I says, a rock. Rock. <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, again, well, thank you, Jeremy, and I want to thank uh, LCAC, our podcast, Motibo for helping me produce this show tonight. Uh, I'm Lucky Magadonna. We're going to sign off with a little bit of Lester. Keep the smile on, get your rocks off. <laughs> <Thank> <laughs> you.